episode nine. Today, I want to at least give you GBPUSD update. I'm on this journey and I'm doing this series where I'm helping you grow your small account. And let me tell you one thing. Growing a small account, you need to understand everything that is happening in your chart. And you need to come back and see what really happened. Where are my entries supposed to be done? Where is the confirmation supposed to be done? And what I need to tell you is that anytime that you are, you have any trade and you need to know the difference between confirmation and entry. And I think this is something that I will keep saying in this series because let me write it here. I think this is something that by now you will have known. Confirmation Let's say this one, the market you wanted to sell. So when you talk of sell confirmation, when you talk of sell confirmation, it is different. It is different between entry confirmation, entry confirmation. And this is what I teach in my course, differentiating the two, sell confirmation and entry confirmation. For instance, if we go to weekly time frame on GBP USD, we were given a sell confirmation. Long time ago, we were given a sell confirmation. Do you know where, when we were given a sell confirmation? Here, when the market broke. You can see we broke this ranging channel and we were given a sell confirmation. So this market is sell confirmed, but it's not entry confirmed because we, on, we always know that the market will always do a sort of a retracement. So the market has confirmed that, yes, they are coming up to 1.211. You can imagine that was so many pips. So anybody who entered uh, immediately the breaking started, they just got 145.50 and they were okay. And they were holding that profit, waiting to bank 340 pips. But what happened? The market starts to retrace back with 119 pips and they get confused. The majority will close the trade thinking what has happened. Majority will close the trade. But let me tell you what happens mostly. When sell is confirmed, it is your job now to know, yes, sell has confirmed. Market is telling me I can sell, but where is my entry? And that's what the difference is. So for me, even when I was marking this double top and having one hour double top in the first episode, then updating it to daily double top, in my mind, I knew sell had confirmed. Even if I sell immediately there, I was still okay. But you see, the entry is what has a problem. So we had this double top, and this double top, we already know, double top takes market down. Double top is for sellers to come with a lot of strength to take this market down. So as I was reviewing this double top, I was telling you guys, we have a double top there. We have a neckline. And we have our half. Let me show you where our half is. So what we want, guys, is to get every single entry on this trade uh, confirmation on the sale. So we are hoping that we'll get a bearish end gap. So I was hoping we'll get a bearish end gap to tell us that the entry has been confirmed. Note, the sale confirmation confirmed like two weeks ago. It was confirmed on Monday, 8th April, the beginning of the month of April. And see, right now we are in a new month, May. So confirmation, sell confirmation can be confirmed, but to be told now enter so that we can now continue selling, it is another, another lesson also altogether. So for, for me, I still feel that sell has not really told us to enter. Why? because this is not an engulfing candle. So what we can do, we can put that box, and if the candle now today breaks this, it will give us an entry. But guys, because already we have a sell confirmation, we can at least work with one sell order, because this market, if you look on the four hour, things are different. If I look on four hour, you can see the sellers, how they were dropping. You can see this drop. This drop is not normal. So what I normally say, the market tends to come back to where it broke. Can you see here we have a breaking? And these are some of the things that I teach in my course. Sometimes it is hard to explain here on YouTube because we need some time to understand what I mean. 
Here we have break of structure, BOS. And if the market broke here, it has to come back to this zone. You see this zone? The market has to come back to this zone. So for me, I would really suggest if you can have your first sell order as we wait for the daily to close. And because today we can take advantage of the news that are there, they can push the market, activate your order. So your order, I want it to be at 25. I know it's here, it is 25.48, but we always drop like four pips for the broker so that you everyone to be activated. If you put exactly to 25, um, 48, some people would be activated. So I have told you the reason why, the reason why we are putting this area is because of the break of structure and the break of structure is around that area. So we are just putting some pips below, below for what reason? For the swap uh, of the broker, that, that, that some pips, it's what makes your orders not to be activated. So GBPUSD, uh, my thoughts on GBPUSD is because this is a very, very strong zone. You can see how many touch we have, one, two, and the third one, and the market is still dropping. But don't be fooled, the market does not drop this way. When news comes, anytime you see the market struggling to sell, you just need one candle. The today's news, you might see one green candle finishing that work and activating our zone. So on GBPUSD, we'll only have one activated order because I don't, again, want to overwhelm you with these orders and maybe you have a small account. So GBPUSD will only have one sell order. And then as we wait for the daily to do what? To give us a confirmation. Once now daily gives us this confirmation, like, uh, we have a WBB. Now I'll tell you what next. I will come again and update you guys what next. But for me, I don't know why I still feel that this news will give us a crazy retracement. It can give us a crazy retracement. You might even see the market coming to this high, tapping this zone, 1.2569. So the market can even come tap this zone because of the news, then get rejected. Once that happens, now the sale has confirmed. Anyway, guys, this is what I normally say. If you want to learn now deep things, why the market moves, because knowing the market will sell is one thing, but knowing where to enter that sale is another thing. So next week on Friday, and I'm coming here with all humility, to tell you that I have one day masterclass that I'm charging a hundred dollars. It doesn't mean it doesn't matter even if you're not in Kenya. This is it will be like a webinar, a recorded, a stream event. And for those who are in Kenya, you're most welcome. You can visit that event and you can register and be part of it. I am charging a hundred dollars. If you're in Kenya, I'm charging twelve thousand Kenya shillings. That is a hundred dollars. You can book your spot. I imagine people have paid for that event. People are very serious. They are very ready. They want to learn new things. They want me to train them. In that masterclass, there are several things I'll be helping people about. Number one, I'll be helping people to know uh, the BW strategy because this is my most profitable strategy. This is the strategy I use mostly. And then I will help people to know how to trade the news, because this is how now I'm giving you some tips. When you know there's some news coming on, you don't, you don't come and sell here. How can you sell at support zone? By the way, this is a very strong support area. Why, why would you put your, you, your sell on a support zone, guys? And we already know that anytime the market reaches any support area, it gets rejected. And I have said, they have tried to reject one, two, and this is the third one. So we don't put our cell on any support area. And that's why we are, we are opting. And this is how many pips from where the market is to our cell um, limit is 65 pips. So the only thing I can tell you guys is that uh, the event, the one day masterclass has full of information. That $100 can change the way you see the market. It can change the way you view the market and it will help you 
to be able to understand why market behaves the way it behaves. So I have done other episodes. Make sure if you have um make sure if you have a bigger account, you are putting these limits as you wait for the news. Once the news happens, I will do an update tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be another update of if our orders were activated and what next. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.